Hi friends, thanks for joining me. Today I am using the fabulous November main kit to create a lovely festive layout. And there are loads of papers in the kit and I didn't want to use them all up on my first layout of the month um, because I am making a mini album. So I have been a bit frugal with the paper here. <laughs> Um, I'm sure you can sympathise with that. You kind of need to strip the papers for a while. And I'm going to use um, three papers, in fact, two papers, and flip one over, so the front and the back. And I'm just going to, as you can see there, just rip those papers across. And I want to hang these kind of little tiny ornaments that in the die cuts from the main kit on the left-hand side there. There are some ornaments in the wood veneers, but they're really large. So I think for this particular layout, I just wanted small ones. I've got an idea for those larger ones um, on another layout. So I'm just roughing up the edges to add some texture, as you can see there. And I just love the way the papers poke out from one another. And I just think it's so pretty. And it's a good way to get some extra pattern paper onto a page. So I'm going to just glue those together. I didn't use tape because I do want to sew later on and I find, I don't know about you, but um, I find that the if I use double-sided tape as I would normally, it gets stuck in my machine. So um, and I'm also going to do some hand stitching um, and then you know all the tape gets stuck around your needle and it's just havoc <laughs> so just to finish off that border i am using a very small border punch it's got very tiny scallops in hindsight i think i wish i'd have gone for a more pronounced scallop i have got a different border punch but being as this one was new <laughs> i wanted to use it and i'm just going to glue that to the back into place one thing you'll see on the final video is I end up stitching across the, between that white paper and the border punch um, just for extra detail and I wish I'd have done that at this stage um, but it was a bit of a, uh, do I need to do it, I don't need to do it. But anyway, I think it definitely looks better with a bit of stitching between the two. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I am going to lay down a bit of colour behind my photos and where those um, baubles will be. I did use the um, hot tub ink pad from the colour kit, but obviously you can use any paint or ink that you have. Um, but this one is particularly pretty. It's a kind of a kind of a pale blue minty blue kind of colour which is absolutely my favourite <laughs> and as you can see I've just spread a little bit onto um, some packaging and which I've spritzed with water it does blend very well applied that with some different packaging to the background and just so I can get some drops there's no gesso on my page um, I'm just using my paintbrush then to kind of make it look as though it's rum and um, because without gesso the paper just absorbs the um, the ink. So um, I've just slowed this down. So you can see off camera, I have just done some hand stitching. I've just lightly drew in pencil a swirly shape and then hand stitched with um, embroidery floss. I think that just adds a nice little bit of detail behind. So I'm just matting my photos tried to use papers that I'd used on another project, so I hate breaking into a 12 by 12 for photo matting. <laughs> oh, I just need to get over that really. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, um, I love the, the two sort of colours that I've chosen for my photos, um, but I thought a nice pop of that navy blue colour would just help those pop off the page. Um, I really love this particular pattern paper. Um, I love things where they're just patterns that, you know, they're so easy to use. I find them the easiest. So we decorated our tree. I put our tree up at the weekend. And so I thought I'll just take a silly selfie. Because, you, know, you know, I think once your kids grow up, you, you just get fewer photos or we've certainly got fewer photos in our house. 
so uh, I've had to rely on a Snapchat photo. Um, just to add some detail to that left hand side, I am using some little tiny snowflakes which came in the stamp kit. Um, they're like little sparkles. And in the colour kit then the um, silver embossing powder was absolutely perfect for the job. So it's quite hard to see on camera, it's quite hard to see in real life. I've stamped with the Versamark ink and then obviously added the embossing powder. Um, but in real life, it had such a lovely, lovely sparkle to that side. And it's exactly what I wanted, really. I wanted those little um, baubles dangling down with a bit of sparkle beside them. And I feel like I needed a few more. So, and you definitely need to do this before you add or stick anything onto that background because your embossing powder will just go everywhere. I don't think I've done any heat embossing for so long. <laughs> I almost forgot how. Um, I'm just going to flat, flatten that for a little little while, just while it cools down, just to hopefully keep the whole thing flat. So that card obviously just turned into a tag, so I can tie a ribbon behind it. And I've decided now that I want to put it all onto cardstock. And that helps to keep my um, the actual background flat as well after heat embossing it can go a little bit curly if you're not careful. So I'll sit that down onto the background, onto the cardstock, just to keep it all nice and flat. What I love about these kits is that, you know, obviously they are very pretty, um, but there's kind of lots of festive elements that I think appeal to everyone. Um, so you can, uh, so for example, I've di uh, fussy cut these flowers for one of the papers, which was called Festive and Fun. Um, so you don't have to be particularly Christmassy, you can just be wintry and, and still use those, which and I cannot resist a bit of fussy cutting. So um, my idea is to um, add those flowers around my photos and then just tuck in some of the embellishments here and there, which is my favourite thing. So I'm just adding, gluing some into place and I'll use some foam tape on some of the others. So my tag is useful. I put my journaling, my date and so on on the back of that tag. I'm just sticking my photos down on the left and on the right, just to hold the tag in position. So I'll be able to slip that out and as uh, I say, put my journaling on there. So one thing I do when I first at those flowers, and they are, some of them quite intricate, with lots of leaves poking out, really pretty, as I tend to fussy cut the whole thing as uh, one piece, as it, as it is on the pattern paper. And then, as I did here, I had to chop off a leaf here and there, um, just because it, you know, maybe it wasn't in the right position for my photo or the um, the layout. And the bits that now cut off, I just reposition underneath. So it gives you a bit of a fuller um, cluster that way. So I say I've put some on to foam tape. And I'm just going to add those beautiful little baubles. On those die cuts, there are um, foiled elements. So there's tiny, tiny foiled elements on there, which are really stunning. So I didn't appreciate that when I first saw it online. And when you look closely, you can see those little tiny, delicate foiled elements. And it's absolutely fantastic. So hats off to uh, Kimberly and Kim bringing those together for us because I love them <laughs> and I didn't think actually there were many great Christmas collections this year um, from the different manufacturers so it's absolutely fantastic to have our own um, in hit kits um, and for it to be so easy to use and stunning but I think they always do uh, Christmas so well it's actually my favourite kit of the year as always. 
So I did the stitching off camera and so I said just stitched across that border and also stitched around the edge just to finish things off. I really hope you like the layout and inspired maybe to create your own. It was really easy, wasn't it? But um, I love the result. I want to thank you so much for watching and hopefully you'll join us on the next video. Um, don't forget you can share your layouts with us on the group and I will see you next time. Take care now. Bye.